all night they mourned and discussed the future of the kingdom so what did they mourn they mourned the death of the king and his minister some people suddenly thought of the guru and disciple and caught up with them as they were preparing to be town unnoticed we people need a king and a minister said someone and others agreed they begged the guru and the disciple to be their king and their minister it didn't take many arguments to persuade the disciple but it took longer to persuade the guru they finally agreed to rule the kingdom of the foolish king and the silly minister on the condition that they would change all the old laws from then on night would again be night and day would again be day and you could get nothing for a rule it became like any other place right so it is a kannada folk tale from ap namanujams folk tales from india what are folk tales the stories which are told from generations to next generation okay and uh, there is a doubt whether the stories were real or not but the purpose of the folk tales is to teach the generations some lesson so what lesson have you learned from this story what lesson this whole story what kind of lessons have you learned you can raise hand yes okay we should not blame others okay hmm? okay we should not be in the company of fools then what to do with the fools if some food is there in 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 our society in our country in our class in the place where we live then should be discarded should be throw them out so saying that we should not be there in the company of the fools is not something okay okay keeping somebody's company means that to be close to somebody you mean so yes it's okay that uh, we should not be like uh, uh, we should not be like very good friend of the fool because that that would affect us but here in the story it's not about being friends with somebody or not it's not about that the story is not about whose friendship we should have then how can you learn this lesson from this story you tell me in this story is the writer talking about friendship yes sir then why to say like whether we should keep the company of fools or not that is a fact i agree otherwise it's a fact like we should keep the company of of the people like what we want to become if we want to become intelligent we should keep the company of intelligent people if we want to become a fool then we can keep the company of a foolish person that is a fact but this is not there in the story what does this lesson tell us or teach us yes i'm sure we should always respect we should always listen to our elders okay uh, even this i will not say like it's there in the story first part is okay what did you say yeah we should not be greedy the disciple was greedy that's why uh, he landed in trouble okay that's why you are saying that we should listen to our elders uh, so here instead of elders you should say wise people right otherwise you are okay so we should uh, well done amsha so what she said like we should be uh, we should not be greedy okay greediness is when you want the things free of cost greediness is when you got something and you still want more okay you are already full but you want because it is free of cost you can say you can overeat it that is being greedy right when you want more than what you desire or de- deserve or you want that is being greedy so the disciple got overfed and eventually he became idle and fat and lazy 
and that's why he got into trouble. And we, had he listened to the advice of his guru, he would not have landed in trouble. Yes. Yes. Yes, that is again very good, very relevant to the story. We should not follow the crowd or we should not follow the others blindly. Have your own logic and reason. Okay? If I say, Beta, leave the class, in this class, uh, there is something wrong. You leave the class. Of course, if, when it comes to classroom, then here, uh, the rules must be followed in letter and spirit. Yes. But sometimes the hint of the teacher is enough for you people to listen because otherwise there might be some problem later on. But otherwise you must apply your mind. The reason you should try to sort of make what is the reason? The reason must be there. Logic must be there. Okay. Yes. Anavi. Okay, we should take the decisions wisely. Yeah? Okay, we should take the decisions wisely. Okay, and those wise decisions should be based upon logic and reason, right? So keep this in mind. Because you people are in front of us, we forget this side. Yes, dear Janvi, moral to teach fools, we should use wisdom. To teach fools, we should use wisdom. Yes. The best way to teach the fools is we become wise. Right? Okay. Anything else you people want to discuss here? What are the two strange things the guru and his disciple find in the kingdom of fools? What are the two strange things? Yes. And everything was safe and it was safe. Yes, well done. What's your name? Gursha. Hmm? Gursha. Well done. You've always been a very bright child, even on the in the online classes. Yes, sir. Second last boy, better. What's your name? Hmm? Keshav. So, what's the answer? We discussed one question. You tell me the question. Tell the question which we discussed right now. What is more important, question or answer? Question. If you don't know the question, the answer is irrelevant. And I bet he doesn't even know the answer. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, Keshav, be attentive from now onwards. Okay? I guess you came to the class for the first time. Today is your first day. Hmm. Did you come yesterday also? Hmm? You've been coming for the last one week. So still you are that, uh, you can say, surprise is not over. Still you are talking. Where's the book? Huh? Hmm? Why? Why? Come and tell here. And I'll be telling your parents to watch the video. Come and tell why you forgot to bring the book. So when you forget to bring the book, get one application sanctioned from your parents telling the reason why you will forget to bring the book. Okay? And he says, okay, ma'am. If you will remember to write application, won't you remember to write, bring book? Sit down. So the question was, what are the two strange things the uh, 
गुरु एंड द डिसाइपल फाउंड इन द किंगडम ऑफ फूल्स द गुरु एंड द डिसाइपल फाउंड टू स्ट्रेंज थिंग्स इन दैट किंगडम वन वॉज दैट द पीपल यूज टू वेक अप एट नाइट एंड वुड स्लीप इन द मॉर्निंग and the second strange thing was that everything was available for just one guru that everything was so cheap it everything was very cheap so these were the two strange things anything else okay next question is why does the disciple decide to stay in the kingdom of fools is it a good idea okay yes beta close your notebook first so why does he wait 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 so why does he decide to stay there yes well done what's your name hmm? parul parvi hmm? okay parvi 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 okay parvi yes you were very attentive girl even in the classes well done uh well done sit down wait first part let us first to discuss so the question is why does the disciple decide to stay in the kingdom of fools so the answer is because he was uh, enamored by the idea that everything was very cheap everything he could buy just for one dude so that was the most fascinating thing and yes another fascinating thing was that he could get any he could get anything at such cheap rate and he he was fond of eating he was a foodie he was a foodie and he loved eating and that also at such cheap rate so he decided to stay there because being foodie he could satiate himself with as much as he wanted so two things everything was cheap secondly everything was available as much as he wanted right so is it a good idea yes beta do do d u d u what is d u d u Huh? Yeah, it's a currency. Okay. The for example, for you people, it might be just one rupee. Okay. If you. For example, for you people, it might be just one rupee. Okay. If you. Huh? Haven't you got the book with you? Okay. Second, uh, its part is isn't it a good idea? Is it a good idea? No. Yes, that boy. Hmm. No, you. Yes. Yes. unpredictable behavior of of okay okay sit down yes next boy yes yes so if you are offered everything for uh, free of cost at such cheap rate so why will it not be a good idea to stay in that kind of place for long that's the point hai na so you must pick up your answer from there only first yes ansha yes because in this kind of governance emergency might erupt at any moment and then uh, the government's behavior would be unpredictable right sit down so yes and the 
kind of threat, uh, threat of life. Yeah, there was a threat to life. Okay, well done. So it was not a good idea on the part, uh, as far as this disciple was concerned, it was not a good idea for him to stay there for a long time. The reason being, the reason being uh, that the government might, uh, the government's unpredictable behavior was quite imminent. Imminent means something which is sure to happen. I M M I N E N T. So what I'm saying, because the government's unpredictable behavior was imminent. Like it was sure that one day the government will behave unpredictably. So it was sure that in emergency crisis or in emergency, if the crisis would come up, then no one was sure like what government, government's steps would be. The first thing the government would do in that case would be to haul up the innocent citizens and to and to uh, and to trap them the way it would want. So there was always a threat. There was always a threat to life of these people who were supposed to enjoy for the time being. Okay. Yes, Manavi. No one would. Yes, no one would be able to predict what would happen to them in the future. Yes. And the future we will see in the story. Name all the people who are tried in the king's court and give the reasons for their trial. So here we need to know the names of all those people who were tried in the court. Hmm? Yes, last boy that side. Yes, Vita. Speak up. What's your name? Arshti. Okay, Arshti. Ah, speak the answer. So name the people who were tried in the king's court. First of all, who was tried? Merchant. First of all, merchant. Then? Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Have you read the story? Why? Why? Arshdeep, now the, these things will not work. Okay? Sit down. Yes. Hmm. Number one, the king. Number two, not king, sorry. Merchant. Mm -hmm. Then. Why? What is this? This kind of person was not there. So who was the other person who was tried in the court? Merchant ke baad. Who came? Don't raise hand. Let me ask see everybody. Anji, what's your name? Hmm? Hride. Okay, Hride. Okay. Next. Hmm? Okay, uh, this girl has Barbie has also spoken. Okay, uh, Lavanya, yes. Merchant, then. Close your book or notebook. Look at me and answer. The brick layer. Is it okay? After the merchant who came? Brick layer. And after the brick layer who came? Are you all Lavanias? There is only one Lavanya. Let her answer. Those who are the Lavanias raise hand. Yes, brick, uh, merchant, bricklayer, then dancing girl. Go, goldsmith. The disciple. Okay, uh, goldsmith. Then finally, again, merchant came. So these four people were tried in the court. First of all, the merchant who was followed by the bricklayer. And Bricklayer asked uh, the dancing girl to be there. And finally, the goldsmith came who, who blamed all this upon the merchant. 
So these four people were tried. Sit down, well done. And give the reasons for their trial. So this answer you have to explain like why the merchant wanted the bricklayer to be tried in the court, right? So that answer, ex explain it on your own, that story you all know very well, right? So this answer will be asked, you people, anyone tomorrow will be asked to explain this answer in the class. It's a long question, right? So any one of you will be asked to explain it, not now, okay? Uh, who is the real culprit according to the king? And why does he escape punishment? So who is the real culprit according to the king? Wait, wait. That boy. Hmm. What's your name? Harshit Bedi. Okay, Harshit Bedi Kone. Or up Harshit Sharma. Anji. No answer. Why? Okay, Harshit Bedi. Give the answer. Aap. Hmm. Huh? Stand up and speak. Father of the explain it. This answer even Jia might have told you. She, he might have told you. Hmm? Explain it. Okay, Jia. So who is the real culprit according to the king? Okay, sit down. Uh, same answer. So what's the point? Why, what does he think? Like who, should, who is the real culprit? The king considers the merchant to be the real culprit. Because after having tried all the people like the uh, bricklayer, the dancing girl, and the goldsmith, the king concluded that it was the merchant's father who was the root of all troubles since his father was not alive. So uh, it would be the merchant who would be, who should be punished because whatever the merchant's father had, it all came to the merchant. If all money and all came to the merchant, then his sin should also be inherited by the merchant. So he should be punished. Okay. So second part is, why does he escape punishment? So does the merchant escape punishment? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes. The merchant escapes punishment. Why, why does it? Okay, okay, quiet. This girl, Arshdeep. Huh. Yeah. Gurleen. Yes, Gurleen. Hmm. Uh, you don't have a book? Hmm. Fourth question, B part. Okay, yes. In the end, your crux of your answer is correct. Like he was too thin to be killed by that stake. Okay. So we are to explain this point. Sit down. Well done. So the question was like, uh, how did that merchant escape the punishment? Uh, the king had got the stake built for the merchant so that he could be executed there. Luckily, the stake happened to be happened to be unfit or loose, loose or tight, loose. Yeah. So, uh, unluckily or luckily, you can say the loose or the stake happened to be loose for the for the merchant. So the king ordered the one who could fit into the noose and that person only would be executed. So this way, the merchant escaped punishment because of the 
because of the foolish decision of the king. Number one, executing the merchant itself was a foolish decision. And then if he was not getting fit into the news, then uh, saying that the one who would fit into the news, that person should be punished. That was all the more disastrous decision. But it was good for the merchant at least. Right? So this is how the people are punished in this kind of system where there is no justice. Innocents are tried and the criminals get escaped without any, without any struggle. Yes, Jia Janvi, your answer is correct. What are the Guru's words of wisdom? When does the disciple remember them? What are the Guru's words of wisdom? Uh, this girl here. Yeah, that is correct. Very nice. Uh, yes, next girl. Hmm? Speak louder. I, you don't have the book. Tomorrow, send me a message in the group. I'll bring books for you people. Okay. Tomorrow, do this thing. Those who can't remember how to bring the books, what to bring. They sent a message in the group. Okay, we people will manage. Right? Okay, well done. Sit down. Sit down. So, who is, uh, what, what are the Guru's words of wisdom? The Guru, being a wise person, told his disciple in advance that this, that was a kingdom of fools, where the king was offering everything for. Or just a doo doo to everybody, where the where everything was very cheap. So he told his disciple in advance that that was the kingdom of fools because everything there was available for just a doo doo. That was that was almost that is everything was almost free. And moreover, the people in that kingdom. Uh, followed an unethical rule that they remained awake in the night and, and slept the whole day. So this made the guru finalize or conclude that it was a kingdom of fools and it would not be wise, it would not be right to stay in that kingdom for a long time because the king would, the king's behavior was quite unpredictable. That person, that king could, could give anything, could give uh, any an unpredictable, you can say, order, which would not be for the good of the country or the countrymen, right? Hmm? Okay. When does the disciple remember them? The disciple remembers the words of Guru when he landed in trouble, when he was going to be executed. So we remember uh, the words of the great or the wise people or of our elders when we are in trouble. Okay. When sometimes the time is over, then we remember like what our parents say or what our teachers used to say. Okay. So how does the guru manage to save his disciples life? Yeah, that's a great question. How does the guru decide to or manage to save the disciples life? So the guru being a wise person. Guru being a wise person manages to save his disciples life with his wisdom. So then you have to tell the whole plan. What that whole plan was, that is uh, the, again the question you'll be telling me tomorrow. It's again a long question. But let me tell you this answer in brief. Tomorrow, any one of you will be asked to question, answer the question number six or, or fourth, third, third question. So, the, uh, so how did he save his disciples' life? With his wisdom. The moment his disciple remembered him, he, he being a prof prophet or a saint, 
managed to be there there and there instantly he made up a plan to save the save not only the disciple but the whole country from the clutches of the foolish king and the minister he said something in the ears of his disciple and then told the king to execute him first and then to execute his disciple the king being foolish foolish was enamored by the idea that if the saint wanted to die then there must be some good behind it there must be some reason behind it on being asked the guru explained that uh, that it was a great kingdom and the place that execution was a was untouched that state was untouched so anyone whosoever would die first would become the king in the next life and the one who would die would be executed second would become the minister so that's why he was willing to be executed first okay so whole thing would come i am there sit down or a few okay tomorrow we will start off the chapter happy prince and uh, so today complete up your notebooks right Thank you.